How's it going guys? That's the Neat Project and today I'm going to one, introduce a video, as you can see here, I'm going to introduce a video uh, series that I'm going to do soon in the next couple of weeks. Um, and yes, I realize that I've been putting out series that I haven't really been continuing on is because I haven't really had time. And um, in my last video uh, on, on the military tripwire, uh, I recently told you that I'm going to be going to um, GRTC summer camp. And that is true, so uh, I'm trying to upload a couple of videos before I go. And um, as I said in the previous video, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be trying to uh, video and take pictures as much as I can at summer camp, just so I can upload and show you guys how it, how it was. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty cool because uh, other people have been telling me that it's been really cool. Um, the people that have went, obviously. Um, but anyway, I'm going to start on the video real quick. So. Um, video series that I'm going to be starting in a couple in the next couple of weeks is um, map reading series. Um, the reason for this is because, well, one, uh, we're practicing our map reading skills in RTC, so I'm just going to be giving out the information as we learn. Uh, two is because I believe people really need to learn how to read maps, um, whether it be military maps or regular maps. And during the series, it's going to be about uh, five five to ten part series. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm just going to play it as it goes. Uh, there's, I'm going to be showing you how to read off of a uh, military grid map and um, hopefully whenever it comes in, uh, a regular map of uh, the state I live in, which is Kentucky, but you can apply it to any other state. Um, it's not really hard to read a regular state map, but it, it's a little bit more complicated to read a, a gr military grid map because uh, one, there's grids, and on the regular um, state map, there are no grids. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, you know, state and highways and stuff, roads, stuff, stuff like that. But on a military grid map, there are grids, and there's land features that you need to know, contour lines, those kind of things. And I'll, I'll explain, explain that to you guys in uh, the series. So I'm not going to get too much into it now, but that's just a new series that hopefully, if I have time, will uh, go into my videos. Um, now you get started on the real thing, and uh, a couple of people have asked me to do it, so I'm going to get all this stuff out of the way. Alright, so the video that everyone's been asking me for is my, um, what's it called, <laughs> rifle wrap. How to put it on, how to take it off, those kind of things. So, since you can already see it's on, and it looks pretty cool, it covers the entire rifle, this black part here is where my hand's going to go, so it's not really going to be shown much and uh, you can add more camouflage on there you can paint it I'm going to show you and tell you exactly what that is when I get it off so um, bear with me uh, this is going to take a little bit of time so uh, bear with me a little bit so I'm going to take it off um, for to keep the rifle wrap completely secure uh, and this is just a test run on rifle wraps because I'm going to be making more is I tie a simple square knot with a bit of paracord not too much about a foot and a half uh, length of paracord. Uh, see, paracord, I used it just to hold the uh, running end of the rifle wrap on the rifle itself. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and take it off. And I wrapped this on a uh, BB gun rather than a regular rifle just to, um, just for safety, just to make, just so you guys know that it's, it's safe and uh, I'm not operating any, you know, uh, live guns, but see, as you can see, it just basically rolls right off. And sometimes it gets a little bit tangled, but there you go, see? The rifle just comes off. I'm going to set the rifle aside and just show you guys. Um, this is the finished product of the video, how to make an easy rifle wrap, a cheap and easy rifle wrap, if you guys want to check that out. I used a bit of paracord on the tip just to hold the, um, the end on the tip. Uh, there and just I, w I would recommend using green or black paracord just to you know blend it blend it in and uh, you know just tie a simple square knot or whatever knot you feel comfortable in tying but um this is the finished product it doesn't look like much because one I didn't use much uh, burlap and you honestly don't really need to use much burlap here's the finished product uh, at the end, the end where the this is where the barrel goes, uh, I'd leave that open because you're just gonna basically 
you're basically just going to roll it up and I'll show you this on the when I put it on but it's the finished product I got about my my uh, wingspan actually a little bit shorter of uh, burlap and then I just weaved uh, some uh, other burlap in the burlap and then I camouflaged it uh, the, the burlap I already painted and stuff it was a uh, green and um, desert tan and it, pr it blends in pretty well in my um, environment so as you can see this is the finished product so I'm gonna set that out of the way real quick and then show you the buttstock part of the rifle alright so I'm gonna scoot up a little bit um, now this is this is a bit hard to take off just letting you guys know it's um, harder than you think and I'll actually tell you what it is whenever I get it off so uh, excuse me a little bit Looking, there's. I think I put some paracord on there. All right, there we go. All right. So it's a bit of a hassle getting this thing off because you know, once you sew it, it's uh, on there pretty much. So you just gotta kind of pull it. All right, there we go. All right, so basically, what this is is a sock. I just took some a random sock, a black sock. Um, I cut. Uh, this is the ankle part. I cut a. I cut a hole. Right there, just so, where the trigger goes through. Uh -huh. um, and right here, this is where the, your bolt. This is where your bolt would go through. Right here. Um, I actually designed this for a bolt gun, because you know most uh, sniper rifles are bolt guns unless you're firing a uh, semi-automatic. But this is where your bolt would go, and this is where your trigger would go, because it's longer to where you can, you know, get more whatever in there, in your hand. And then this is the bolt. It's smaller, so you can, uh, it's just big enough to manipulate, manipulate the bolt, but small enough to where it's not uh, showing your gun too much. All right, so that, that's basically just a sock, pretty much. And then I wrapped burlap, sewed the burlap in, and then weaved more burlap into the burlap, and um, I'm actually going to need to get uh, weave more in there because, as you can see, some of the blank spots. Either that or, if you don't want to, you could just spray paint it green or whatever color you live in. And uh, you don't need to worry about the, the place where your, where your uh, shoulder goes, the, the back of the buttstock, because obviously your shoulder is going to be covering it. The only spot that would be vulnerable is right here uh, towards the uh, ankle part of the sock is because it's black and it doesn't really blend in. Um, I would actually know that firsthand, and most of you guys would know that actually, um, is if you're in total darkness or just with a, just a little bit of light, uh, you can see black. So if something black is moving across the, you know, the tree line or whatever, you'll know it's not natural. So um, that's basically the the buttstock uh, part of the rifle wrap. This is a two-piece rifle wrap because one, it wasn't long enough to wrap. Uh, two, I wanted two pieces so it'll be easier to manipulate rather than wrapping one big piece around the entire thing. So now I'm going to show you how to put it on. Alright, so you just take your rifle. Uh, I start with the buttstock because one, it's the hardest thing to get on. Two, it's just there. So, uh, you would simply, whoa, whoa, alright, chill out. You'd simply just, you know, slip it on like a regular sock, like you would with a sock. Make sure the, the holes go onto the rifle. And so your it doesn't you know break any part of the rifle wrap. And what I recommend is trying not to make this so tight on your uh, when you're sewing it. Trying to make it so tight because you'll end up like mine where it won't want to go on. So excuse me for one second. Try to push this on there. And mine is real, it's not really hard, but it's pretty difficult to get on. Um, and that's just because of how I sewed it. So, I'd recommend not sewing it too hard, too tight, sorry. And there you go. And then all you have to do is simply fit, fit uh, the parts you cut your trigger. Just simply fit it on to where it's supposed to go. Don't worry about the fixing the any part of the burlap yet because you're going to want to put the front part of the rifle wrap on there. And then you can worry about, um, you know, fixing everything and combing it. 
Um, I learned this tip from a battalion commander that um, I met going to one of my friend's Boy Scout things. Um, he actually, he's a battalion commander, uh, he's a lieutenant colonel, and he gave me a really good tip because I was just hanging out with him, you know, just messing around, seeing how I liked it. And um, he told me to get a horse brush and basically brush the uh, my ghillie suit, my uh, burlap on a ghillie suit, because what it will, what it will do is it'll break up the fibers and it'll make it like it'll spread it out. So you basically you basically have more coverage and uh, stuff will stick to it easier. So say you just you're in a leaf, you're in a leaf pile. All you have to do is if you brush it and then lay down, roll around a little bit, you'll a bunch of the leaves will stick to you and you won't have to stick as much onto the burlap. So um, I'm gonna st I'm gonna do that. I actually do have a, a horse brush downstairs which I got today. So um, I'm gonna see if that actually works. And if it does, I'll give you guys an update video on my ghillie suit, see how it's working. Um, but I would recommend doing that to your rifle wrap if it works. If it does not work, do not try it yet. And um, I'll look for some other uh, cam ways to camouflage and you know make their burlap a little bit better. All right, so now we're going to move on to the wrap itself, the actual wrap part. All right, so as I said, um, when you're when you make when you're making the uh, rifle wrap, leave about six inches, leave about six inches not weaved with uh, burlap, and then hopefully this doesn't fall. And then you're just going to want to kind of wrap it. Now the the bad thing about this rifle wrap is it's kind of hard to get it on. So uh, it's not hard. Sorry, it's just um, it just gets away from you a little bit. So you're gonna want to kind of you know wrap it a little couple times. Uh, help, try to get somebody to help you if you can. Um, just because it's it'll be easier. There you go. So uh, the burlap does stick to stick to itself a little bit, but not too much. So um, after you have it on there, then you're gonna want to take that little piece of paracord. Got it. I'll untie it real quick. All right. So when you're done, I don't know if you guys can see this, but here's the tip. And hopefully, if you made it correctly, you'll have a little bit of an area to tie this and I'd recommend tying a square knot just because one that's um, a really good knot and it'll keep your stuff locked up and I also recommend using green OD green paracord because it blends in so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wrap around your barrel a couple of times if it'll stay and want to wrap around your barrel just a couple times, not 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 too many not, not too many times, just two times. Hopefully, if it'll stay, you can also do that as I, as I just did. And you're gonna want to wrap it around the rest of your rifle. Like so. And try not to wrap it in in one spot too many times. That's just because you want to try to get this spread out as evenly as possible to um, camouflage it more. Then once you get all the way to the end, and as I said, um, use a bit of paracord just to, you know, hold it down. And try not to tie down too much of the burlap just so you can spread it out and make and camouflage it more. So I'd recommend spreading it out a little bit just so you can get a, a pretty good area your square knot. I remember it best by uh, right over left and then under and then left over right and then under. And you'll get a good simple square knot and you don't even have to worry about cutting it. Just leave it. It'll basically blend. In, it'll add to the illusion. Camouflage and then you know. Then you can just take your, some of your you know just take your burlap and spread it out and whatnot. Just how, how you would want it. Just spread it out, camouflage it the way you want it, personalize it yourself. Don't let anyone tell you um, how you should camouflage it because it's your own personal um, 
thing. And some pieces of burlap will fall off, so if you want that, obviously, you know, just leave it back in there. And uh, it'll be good. So um, that's the finished product, and um, I'll always remember to, um, you know, make sure that black part's a more covered, a little bit more covered. Uh, and then, you know, spread out a lot of your stuff. And that's basically it. It's the uh, finished product. If you uh, actually made the rifle wrap that, if you actually watched my rifle wrap video and made a rifle wrap, uh, I I greatly appreciate it uh, for supporting um, supporting my uh, channel. Uh, another tip is if you are right-handed, uh, if you're right-handed, I'd recommend um, <clears throat> shoot by uh, putting more burlap on uh, the left side because that's the side that's not mo that's the side that's not as covered. Because if you're grabbing this right here, your hand's covering a lot of it, so. What I recommend is pushing a lot of that uh, burlap to the other side where it's not as covered. Because as you can see, there you go. And I'd recommend not covering the bolt, not covering the bolt as much, because obviously you're going to want to be able to um, low, uh, chamber another round. So um, that's the pretty much the finished product. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's video. If you have any suggestions or comments, uh, if I'm doing something that, uh, I mean, if you would like to see something um, on my channel or, you know, those kind of things and whatnot, just, you know, feel free to comment, rate, uh, comment, uh, write me a personal message. And as always, stay safe uh, and take care. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, if you would like to follow me on Twitter or like my Facebook page, uh, I'll put it in this description box. And you can also uh, watch my uh, tripwire video, and you'll find all my information on that. So um, thank you guys for watching again. Uh, so this is an project saying goodbye and take care. Goodbye.